Hello everyone, so today is another book haul slash merch haul and I realised that I did a huge book haul just last week. We're here again. I was at London Film and Comic Con slash Yauk, which is the young adult literature convention. I vlogged the whole three days, so those are all up now, so I'll link them down below if you'd like to see what I did over the weekend, which mostly just involved following Benedict Cumberbatch around because he was at the convention. So the first book is Wonder Kids by Jacqueline Sylvester. This is a boarding school book and I am obsessed with boarding schools. So the Ali Carter Gallagher Girl series, the, the Night School series by CJ Doherty. So in this book we follow Nika who gets invited to attend the academy which is kind of a secret and it's mainly for talented youth. So she goes there and she's all very excited about her new classes and then it starts to unravel that this boarding school is holding some secrets. I am so excited to get into this. By the way, these books that I'm showing you right now I actually picked up at the convention. So the next book that I have is a proof copy that I picked up from Hodder, and that is I Am Traitor. And it follows this girl who has to save the world. I mean, she lives in right in the middle of London, which she used to think is a safe place. But then when these extraterrestrials start picking people quite literally off the street, it's kind of up to her to sort it all out. And I'm so obsessed with this cover as well. It's very beautiful to look at. The next book is Illuminate by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I am one of those poor souls on earth that has not read this book yet and I know, I know what you're thinking. Where have I been? I don't actually know too much about it. I just know it's a futuristic story and it's got sci-fi. I know a sort of plague has broken out on one of the spaceships and the characters dealing with that and what drew me to it originally is the setup. So it's not like a normal book where you just have lines everywhere. You have clip-ins and documents, you have diary entries. The next book I didn't even think I would get a copy of because they went like this and that's the Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Now I am not a huge fan of her Anne and the French Kiss series but this is a horror and it just from the title it sounds very dodgy and a bit shady and I've heard that it's sort of like Scream Queens the TV show so I'm kind of intrigued to what I'll think about it and my final book that I bought at the convention is Because You Love to Hate Me by various authors this is an anthology made up of 13 stories of various authors that did a sort of collaboration with booktubers what the booktubers did is they gave the authors a sort of prompt and then they had to write a story based on it it's about villains so that kind of feels like my whole life. So if you know me, you know that I'm kind of a dark being and having a book about villains <laughs> may be a bit dangerous in my hands, but we'll see how that goes. So next I'm going to be showing you books that I actually took to the convention, which required a suitcase. So these are the books that I brought to Comic-Con to get signed as the authors were there. First book is The Fandom by Anna Day. And when Chicken House sent me this book, I freaked out because ever since I heard that this book was a thing I had it on my TBR. So it follows this girl who goes to Comic-Con with her friends. Little does she know though she's going to get transported into her favourite fantasy world and what she does is kind of mess up the plot line so she has to get it back on track and get out in time alive. The next book is A Battle Marge by Taryn Mathuru. This is the third book so I can't really tell you about it without spoilers but the first book follows Fletcher who gets accused of this crime that he didn't commit. He also discovers that he has this power to summon demons and this makes Fletcher go to this academy where they actually learn to train these demons and there's different levels of strength you can have. It's a really really great fantasy. The next book is One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus and I'm so obsessed with this book. It's so brilliant and it's a sort of breakfast club with murder. So these five people go to detention and only four get out alive so one of these people dies during detention and the victim actually had this gossip app that used to reveal all these secrets about the students at school and he was just about to publish some very revealing things about the other four so they are immediately seen as the suspects and I cannot tell you how great the plot twists are as you're sort of trying to piece it all together. If you'd like my full thoughts on this book I do have a real I'll link it down below if you want all the details. Next I have The Dark Days Club and The Dark Days Pact by Alison Goodman. So this book is the infernal devices 
Sherlock, Buffy, all mixed into one. So it follows this girl that has her first audience with the Queen as she is trying to sort of be put out into society to find a husband. This guy called Lord Carlston, who has a pretty bad reputation, begins to persuade Lady Helen that she has a different destiny. It is the perfect Regency London fantasy. So I also have Sweet Freak by Sophie McKenzie and this is a book about about these two best friends that were very very close but then this hateful account begins to target one of the girls and then her best friend gets accused of running the account so this is definitely a thriller type book and I'm very excited to read it then I also have Shattered Minds by Laura Lambs so this book was actually in my other book haul that I did but since I've actually met her now I thought I would include this book in my authors that I met section. So since I've already talked about it I'll just give a brief description. It follows this neuroscientist that is addicted to this drug that gives her violent tendencies and that's actually what Laura said to me when we were discussing the book. <laughs> she just says she writes a lot of death that's definitely true so I'll check this out if you like very dark books. And the final book is a graphic novel and that's the Vampire Academy graphic novel. So Emma Vich Shelley was actually around on the comic artist's floor and so she signed it for me and I'm so in love with this graphic novel. If you've read the series I would highly recommend checking out the novels. The art is incredible but the writing really condenses the scenes really well and actually I kind of preferred reading this to the actual book. The next thing is not technically a book or merch so I'm going to show it to you just separately right now. So at Comic Con of course there are actors around that you can meet. So when I heard that Daniel Portman aka Podrick from Game of Thrones was going to be there, I freaked out. I love his character to death. So of course I got his autograph and we had a very lengthy conversation about Slytherins and my YouTube channel because he was asking about it. And you can watch this all in the vlogs because I had my friend record me me and so I can rewatch it for the rest of my life. He is so so lovely as well and he was wearing this red bandana which just gave me all the feels. So next I picked up a few samplers. So the first one is Flawed. It's sort of a collaboration novel between all these very authors and I'm going to have so much fun trying to guess who wrote each character because it doesn't actually say who writes each chapter in here. Now this next one I actually ran around the whole convention to try and find. The Surface Breaks by Louise and O'Neill. This is a Little Mermaid retelling. I am so happy that someone's rewriting The Little Mermaid. Definitely get excited about this publication. Next one is also a really anticipated book for me and that is All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefvater. I don't actually know anything about this except that Maggie's writing it so of course I'm there. Next one is Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury and this isn't actually the final title of this book. I love Mel's The Sin Eater's Daughter series so of course I had to go pick this up. And the final one is Otherworld by Jason Segal who is Marshall on How I Met Your Mother which I didn't clock until I spoke to the publicist at the stand and she said that he's you know written a sci-fi type dystopian book and I thought excuse me what now and this book is sort of about gaming and it's very futuristic. So next I have a few random bits that I'm just quickly going to talk about. So of course even though I have three copies of Gilded Cage don't worry I didn't buy a fourth one. I got a postcard I just love Vic James so much that I couldn't walk away without her signing something for for me. I also picked up this feather and the reason why I'm even showing you this is I feel like it just speaks very much about my soul. I stole this feather from Galanche. I didn't really know if we were meant to take these because they were sort of scattered over the table in the display. But I also got this print from Hoda and this is actually a drawing of Darrow from this Brown series. Isn't it just so beautifully drawn? So I got a Six of Crows oyster card holder which actually doubles up as a purse for me because I don't do the big purses with money. So I also got a Slytherin poster from Bloomsbury and of course this is going to go up on my wall to showcase my house love. And another post that I got is of God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. The last couple of things are actually merch items. The first thing I am so excited about and this is this print of the wanted poster of Sirius of course who I just love. 
You've probably seen these posters in the background of a couple of my videos. And this is actually from the same stall that I got this one from, except last year. Another thing is very much what people think about me on the internet, and that is that I'm a bit weird. Of course I had to buy myself this sort of poison vial to add to that. All your suspicions were true. I am crazy and I create weird potions like Snape in the early hours of the morning. This is a bath oil type thing. It's not poison flavoured, it's actually gooseberry, but doesn't it look like toxins? It's so exciting. And this final thing is probably the most exciting thing that I bought over the weekend, and that is the Harry Potter makeup brushes from Storybook Cosmetics. Look at this, I'm so addicted. And because they're heavy, that means they're really easy to control. So there are actually five, but one of them I was using for my makeup right now. Ah, look at these. Oh. This is my Comic-Con slash Yauk book haul and merch haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got over the weekend. As I said in the beginning, don't forget to check out my vlogs to see what we actually did. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!